Do cheap electric knife sharpeners actually work? I've always been a bit skeptical, so I wanted to try one out for myself. I got this knife sharpener for around $30, and I've set out a pretty simple task. I want to see whether this knife sharpener can make dull knives sharp again, quickly and easily. I'm going to be using it on my own knives, ones that I actually use in the kitchen, so if it makes a mess of the knives, it'd be pretty annoying. But I figure if I'd still be happy to use it after that, then it's probably worth buying. This was the day the electric sharpener arrived and it was very exciting. I bought it on Amazon and it was delivered within two days. If you're interested, there's a link down in the description below. As basic packaging goes, this was very basic. Wrapped up in a clear plastic bag with a large but mostly useless instruction manual. I did need some of the instructions though because there are four knife sharpening slots on the top with no indication on the product as to why. It seemed like overkill, but a quick peruse of the handy instruction manual told me that the left hand slots contained a coarse grinding stone to use first, and the right hand slots contained a fine grinding stone to smooth off the edge. There were some other things to learn from the manual too. This slot here is for sharpening scissors, and this one here is for sharpening screwdrivers, which I don't think is a feature anyone needs from their kitchen wear, but it's there nonetheless, and why not? The sharpener is reasonably compact and it should be able to fit into most drawers or shoved away into the corner of your kitchen when you're not using it to keep it nice and discreet. Which is a good thing because as I was about to learn, when you are using it, this thing is not very discreet at all. This misleadingly small sharpener powers on like an industrial head strimmer. It was far from a soothing sound, but nothing compared to the ferocity that was about to come when I actually sharpened a knife. This was the knife that I'd chosen to surrender to the vicious Von Chef knife sharpener. And it's a knife I like very much, which made me a little bit nervous. Then I had an idea. Why not also test out a knife that I don't like very much? If the Von Chef is truly a great product, maybe it can make a good knife out of anything. And so I had my victims. The Mercer Renaissance, which costs around $50, and this nondescript Santoku knife, which I think I bought for about the equivalent of $8 about 12 years ago. Before I started though, there was an issue with these two knives. They're too sharp. Well, the Mercer was, and that wouldn't really make for a good test, so I had to change that. Can't get it. That will not go through. This was a worrying moment because at this point I had no idea whether this sharpener was capable of bringing these knives back to the sharpness that they were before. Or possibly just make them even worse. So I wasted no time in finding out. I picked the Mercer as the first victim. Secured the sharpener down using the four little suction pads underneath, which unfortunately don't stop it from sliding entirely when you're using it but it does do a decent enough job. And then I fired up the beast. I went cautiously in on the first coarse grinding stone and there were some surprising results. Having not used an electric sharpener before, I wasn't sure if the flurry of sparks was normal or something to be concerned about. And with not wanting to set my kitchen on fire, I thought I'd better check. A quick browse of the Amazon reviews and it showed that this is pretty standard for this sharpener at least. And I took the decision that it wasn't really a problem. I finished off the coarse side of the sharpener with a few passes on each side, trying to keep the knife steady, which wasn't really all that easy. I then went to the second supposedly finer side to finish off the blade. It's certainly tricky to keep a constant angle in pressure when you're doing this, in large part because you can't actually see down between the gap to where the grinding stone is. So I just had to try my best to keep the grind of the edge even along the knife, mostly by feel.
I then did the same with the Santoku, but spent a bit longer to really try and peel back a fresh new edge since it was already in bad shape to begin with. It was after doing this that I noticed a charred black mark on my kitchen worktop. And for a brief moment, I thought I'd just burned a scorch mark into the surface. Luckily, that hadn't happened. It was just the charred remains of the steel that had been removed from the knife. Now just a fine black dust which wiped off easily enough. Working again. Almost. The edge isn't perfect. It's not as good as it was. But it's a lot better. The blade might have been far from perfect, but it was definitely an improvement. There was still one issue though. This 25 pound knife sharpener does have two coarseness levels, but it doesn't have any way of really finishing off the knife edge. To bring out the true sharpness of the edge, you need to remove the knife burr. The little bits of steel that have been almost stripped from the blade, but are just hanging on and preventing the knife from being as sharp as it can be. The knife needs a third honing and stropping step in the knife sharpening process to really polish the edge. And that's something that this sharpener just doesn't have. Luckily though, I do. This is a simple leather strop by Beavercraft. It costs around $15-ish and I thought it could make all the difference. So I gave both the knives a final short sharpen and finished them with a strop, which is as easy as passing each side of the knife blade along the leather four or five times. And then the knives are ready for the final sharpness test. At the start of this review, I set a simple test. If this cheap knife sharpener can make dull knives sharp again quickly and easily, then it passes. And despite its deafening sound, despite the sparks and not quite adequate suction feet, despite the fact that it's near impossible to keep a constant angle to the edge, and despite the fact that for the best results, you'd be well advised to also use a strop, this little sharpener does achieve that basic goal. It takes a dull knife, and it makes it sharp again. And I think for 25 pounds, that's what most home cooks are looking for. I'd just advise you not to sharpen anything too expensive using this sharpener. But really a knife sharpener only solves half the problem because if you don't have a decent kitchen knife to begin with, it's not gonna stay very sharp for very long anyway. If you're looking for the perfect knife for your kitchen, then you need to watch my video here where I compare a selection of knives costing around $50 and see how they compare with a $170 Wusthof knife.